Yo, yo, come on, ça va? I'm MegasX. How y'all doing? Today I want to show you a pretty neat trick on how you can actually capture a second person's, or multiple people even, uh, their point of view while gaming. So essentially what you're doing is, is you're going to have your, like in your video, you're going to have you gaming, and you're going to have the video of that, and then you also are able to capture other people's perspectives, and you could do this without actually having to send files after. So that means your friends don't have to record and send you the big files, two gigabyte size files and throw it all in the editor you could actually capture it as you're playing this is really really fun um, basically you are going to need to have a little bit of a setup so it's not absolutely free you're going to need to have XSplit I don't think you need to have the premium version so you could use the free version that's fine and then you're going to need to have a video editor so um, and on top of that you also need two monitors I don't think you'll be able to get away with this too much with with only one monitor because it uses a lot of space on each display so unless you want to have everything really small and really shitty uh, resolution video, which I guess you could do if you wanted to not have a second monitor, uh, you know, you're going to have to have that second monitor. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and even show you what it looks like using my webcam, pointing out what my setup is, and then we'll take a look. So just to say how this is going to work, first off, you see here I have XSplit and I have my SimCity. I'm just capturing the game. I go add game capture. Uh, now, once again, if you don't have premium, you're going to have to add screen region and just go ahead and add that. Uh, my actual game is over here, as you can see, so you can just go add add screen region and capture that up but I'm gonna move the game back over here just for space reasons and um, also what you're gonna to want to do is while you're recording this is what you're gonna do with your actual Camtasia is you're gonna set it to capture and you're gonna go select area to record now I obviously I can't do it because I am recording with Camtasia but you could do this with Camtasia or any other recorder I guess and what you're gonna do is for the area that you're gonna record record the actual square the actual display menu on your exploit so just this area right here the square itself nothing more nothing less just that so you're actually going to be capturing whatever XSplit is capturing. Now, what you're going to do to get the extra point of views is you're going to have to have your friend stream using XSplit or any maybe open broadcaster uh, through Twitch or through any other uh, stream you know, uh, community. So all you have to do is load up their, their stream. Now, this is just my stream. I'm not going to actually load anybody's real gameplay stream that's currently active right now for copyright reasons and that sort of thing. But uh, let's just pretend this is the actual you know, other person your friend that you're playing with that you want to capture his point of view in the video uh, go ahead and get that now you can see here I don't have enough space because I am, don't forget I am recording this box so I don't have enough space on screen uh, to make it maximize unless you had a third monitor if you have a third monitor then you could actually do this in the best best uh, quality like high def because then you're going to be able to make it near full screen and stuff so what you're going to do is set up everything so it looks kind of like this obviously this isn't going to work because you can't see shit but all you have to do is click inside the actual you know the uh, internet browser or chrome or whatever that you're using and hold down control and then with your mouse wheel scroll down Okay, keep scrolling down and adjust the size until it kind of comes out like this, where all you see is just the actual stream itself. Now, there is a little bit on the side, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, once again, if you had a third monitor, you could even go even crazy and uh, go further, but it, it's not really necessary since they're just going to be a point of view. It's going to be a smaller video anyway, so it's not a big deal. So what you're going to do at this point is go to XSplit and add screen region, of course, and then just take their stream, just like so. So, you know, I'm not even going to be go as far as being precise because obviously I'm not going to use this for any real reason, but that's generally what you're going to do. And then, you know, just make the changes as necessary. So we'll throw it up on this corner, you know, make it a bit smaller even. And if you had a third person, it would be as easy as opening up an additional stream, an additional window, doing the same thing, adding a second. You know, and you could have people, if you were playing with five people and they're all streaming, ooh, that's loud. You know, you could have multiple cases of it. So one, two, three, all, all, wherever you want, you know. And then go ahead and you might want to do this. Just right click on the uh, the second point of view. Go to layout. Or sorry, go to color. And uh, maybe just make it a little transparent. So you can see through to your main window as well while still seeing them. And this really adds a great uh, perspective when people, it makes, you know, it makes your videos more interesting. Because if you're not doing something so important or so uh, entertaining, they have the option of watching them. And you could even take it one step further, which this is the part I I really find cool 
is I have a secondary set up here. And what I do with this one is I keep my perspective in the small, and then I'm going to add their screen region as the big. And then all you have to do is set up key bindings to make it work. So I'll just very quickly do this. Now, the only thing about this, if you only have two monitors and you're doing it like I'm showing you here, um, the quality of the, like, because it's so small and you're stretching it out, that kind of, you know, it kind of presents a little problem as far as high def quality goes. But, you know, it's still better than not. And all you have to do now is go to Tools, uh, General Settings, go into key hotkeys, and then literally just switch, make up hotkeys so you can switch back and forth as needed. You know, and then that way you make the judgment call while recording whether or not you want to have your perspective as big one and your friends small, or vice versa. You could have your friends as the big perspective and you as the small one. Maybe something really cool is happening and you want to showcase that in a bigger quality. So you can do that. And, you, and that way there you also don't have to alt-tab or minimize your game in order to switch scenes. You could just use your key bindings to switch in between, you know, any scene that you may have and uh, you know it just really adds a nice flavor to your uh, video it really makes it more interesting I think I've done this with SimCity I haven't made the video yet I haven't edited the video rather but it will get it out there pretty soon and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I mean you could really get creative with this and not only using XSplit to do multiple perspectives but using XSplit just to have green screen for your webcam I don't think you could really do that with Camtasia itself unless you're recording a secondary program or some stuff something like that but you know like, like you see I have the green screen I have text up on the screen I could add pictures and make them annotations once I get the final video out, which I actually will do with this uh, subscribe and Twitch button you see up here. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Huh? I think I, I think recording XSplit for your gameplay is really cool. And it's not even too bad. Let me just quickly record, uh, start up a game here. As you can see, uh, it's not too laggy. Um, you do need to have a good computer. I mean, you are obviously, you're not going to be live streaming on on the XSplit, so it's not going to be like as if you're live streaming and recording, but you do, you know, you need to have general decent video card and CPU and RAM and that sort of thing. So it's not really something a lower end computer can get away with, but uh, you know, any mid to high end computer, no problem. And uh, I'll just show you real quick in game that it's not even that bad quality. I mean, I'm moving around in game and there's no lag or anything like that. The, the only time you're going to get a delay is on the friend's point of view because they are are streaming they will be streaming and there is a small delay in that but you know not a big deal it's still better than not having it and it's definitely better than having to send giant video files uh, through Skype or through Dropbox and all that sort of thing so it really just makes things easier and adds a nice little interesting flavor to your stream so what do you think of my video so I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like when it's all set up using both uh, you know using both monitors so you have a general idea of what I'm doing here so let me just switch to this guy here this is just my you know my setup for webcam to show you my webcam a bit better but that's generally it as you can see I have the game up on this side uh, XSplit is doing a game ad gaming but once again you could just do it through screen region if needed if you don't have the premium and then on the second side let me get a bit closer uh, you can see well that's what you see in the actual video where I was showing you before so that's generally it Hopefully this was helpful for you guys, and maybe you can make some really interesting videos with this concept. Not just for the, once again, not just for the point of view, but also for the fact that it's, uh, you know, you're using XSplit, which has so much graphical features and other, you know, really awesome features. So, generally, this video is just about saying, start recording your XSplit window instead of recording the game itself when you're recording videos. Pretty awesome, yeah? Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if it was. Share it with your other recording buddies to let them know that uh, they could do this too in case they never really, you know, you have to make that connection. Oh, yeah, you could just record your exploit window, right? So thanks so much for watching, guys. Passe un bonjour. Have yourselves a great day. We'll catch you on the next one. I've been Magus X. You've been the viewer. Adios. Yeah.